what's going on everybody today I wanted to go over everything that I have found wrong with my 2400 EX so as it sits right now I could go and ride it and make no changes and it probably would be fine maybe more than likely it would be fine but since I know that stuff is wrong with it I want to make sure that it is good to go to the best of my knowledge that way when I do ride it I have peace of mind that I know that it's right so with that being said if you buy something don't take the seller's word for it make sure you look over your own stuff before you go and just start riding it unless you just don't care first thing that's wrong with it these are the wicked products uh, plus two lower a arms and wicked products I can't even find like their website I found wicked products but I don't know if it's the same company but you can't find like the rebuild parts for these a arms so you can't find the ball joints or anything from that company I'm sure I could find some that fit but like you can't look up wicked products part numbers and order like their stuff so with that being said the Heim joints on the passenger side are they got major play in them these two right here and I don't know if I can show y'all that but like I hold a breakdown there is play I don't know if y'all can see it on camera but there is play in these Heim joints where they actually rock back and forth now I've seen so really what I need to do to rectify this is that I need to take the upper control arm off figure out the thread size figure out the size for the bolt hole figure out the difference between from the sh from the collar to the to the top of the eyelet and then to see if I can find one and this might be right right hand thread I'm not sure and just find four and just replace all four of them basically uh, these are supposed to be like Durlin bushings in the bottom, so that should be fine. The upper and lower ball joints look fine. There's no play. I'm not worried about that. But at some point or another, this is not urgent, but at some point or another, I will need to find uh, hom joints for the upper control arms. Um, I need to go over and bolt check everything under the bottom. It seems like they put the skid plate on it never took it back off because all of the allen holes and everything looks good uh on the swing arm skid plate they have washers under them and i'm not sure if it's supposed to have washers under them uh, but this one does not and it has like some sort of i'm not sure what that is on there so and this has been beat up pretty good so it's been doing its job so i need to take a look at that and determine the proper hardware and while we're talking about hardware let's talk about this rear axle this is a dura blue x33 pin axle because when i got this and my buddy Cortland rode it i noticed a bunch of play in the axle but when i looked there was no axle hub so i was like well you know what's going on with that so yes this is a eight hundred to eleven hundred dollar rear axle now if you look here you will see that you know that lug that lug that lug none of those are seated correctly so this has me thinking that that's not the correct hardware which I know now that is not the correct hardware and the hardware that's going through the axle the pin hardware is not correct either and nor is it tight because they rock on the axle so once I found out that it was dura blue like that like this is the correct hardware this is the wrong hardware so the guys on the Facebook group Honda Hoarders was like is a dura blue axle contact the guy dura blue he gets you the right stuff so seventy eight dollars later I have all of the wheel studs 
and the pin hardware for this axle. So this hopefully will take care of the slop that are on those rear hubs and take care of the lovely issue. So $80, $78 shipped for all new hardware in the rear axle so I can fix that. No problem. That was really my biggest issue because when he was riding it, you could see it like slopping from side to side. And it, it's a lot of play. Like I don't know if it comes over on camera. Just a lot of play on those wheels. And for underneath it, this is pretty much it. The hubs, axle hardware, wheel hardware, terrible. The uh, passenger side, hom joints, upper control arm. But the brakes and everything else seem to be fine. Shocks seem to be fine. All that fun stuff. So let's get this bad boy down. And it's got a few more minor issues. Some that I already fixed because it was kind of getting on my nerves. Alright. So the biggest issue for me here is going to be the graphic kit. I guess they didn't prep it good. Whoever put it on. Like half of this kit is just ready to come off and this will be the last video that y'all see this graphics kit because if none of these folks are paying me they don't get free advertisement so this is the last free advertisement uh, that they get so the graphics kit is my really my biggest issue that I have with this is that it's a nice graphics kit but whoever applied it just didn't do that good of a job at all uh let me see the neutral light stayed on all the time when I got it but once I looked at it and I pulled up the wiring diagram it was just unplugged so I just went down where was it at right here and just plugged it in and then it was all good to go uh, the next thing was they had the gas reservoir knob on the wrong way. It's flat on one side, but they had it turned like 180 out. So I took it off, marked it the right way, then went and just marked on, off, and reserve so that I know where it is. Because the first time I stood it up, I had it in the off position, but it was really in the on position and, and gas started draining out. So got that fixed. There's no. Uh, gas cap breather tube that's cheap that's like two dollars so I can make one for free if I wanted to so that's not really all that big of a deal and then that pretty much oh so the lights work but it's no tail light so I guess they were popping wheelies and must have broke the tail light off so I have a harness but the harness I have is only two wires this being a 2000 it should be a two wire uh, light because they didn't get the brake lights until they until 05 or 08 when they did reverse when the 400 it has got reversed it also got a actual brake light that would like illuminate when you hit the brake but the 99s to the pre reverse bikes didn't have a brake light it was just a light so the one I ordered is two wire this one is three wire but it shouldn't have a brake light with it being a 2000 so I have to figure that out does this actually have a brake light was it wired up for a brake light or not I have to figure that out and then the only other issue that I've really seen with this is that is missing a seat grommet the air filter lid is missing and then this filter looks like it was dropped into the bottom of the river and then pulled back up but other than that surprisingly even though this was popping wheelies the rear of the frame is angled up just a tad but not really so I was actually very very surprised with that it looked like the CDI uh, 
was replaced at one time but I can't tell if it's just like an aftermarket replacement or if it has like a higher rev limit one of those performance ones because it doesn't have any markings on it but this is fresh so I doubt that this is you know 24 years old the battery is a little weak uh, uh, yeah, see that battery is weak uh, but other than that, that's really about it. The tires have good tread on them, but they are like cracking in certain spots. But I'm just going to ride it until I can't ride them. Uh, probably won't be doing that much riding this year, but we'll see. If it gets worse, then of course, I will replace it. But other than those small things, like all this stuff is really, really minor. I'm, I'm kind of being nitpicky, but at the same time, I want to make sure that everything on this is good to go and squared away for my needs oh and also the oil forgot about that this oil looks terrible and it smells like gas oh uh, well I guess the oil is not gonna show up right now because it's probably all in the back of the motor but yeah this oil look looks like a baby milkshake uh, but it also smells like gas so I'm thinking that without the air lead well no because then it would have been running lean I don't know maybe the car the carb is not jetted right maybe it got a too big of a jet in it but the oil smells like gas so I need to change the oil but everything else on it is good to go I did a riding video on it the day I got it brakes feel good motors feel good I just gotta get this axle oil change. Like I said, just 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 minor minor stuff. And I actually have uh, some of these, but I'm using them for the tank hold downs on my 200e. So I'm gonna start ordering stuff for this when I get the 83 200e big red kind of on the stages being wrapped up. But overall, solid bike. Twenty-seven hundred dollars, solid solid bike. I am going to do a video with Cortland, uh, my buddy that has the yellow 2001, and just kind of do like a video of is it better to spend the money, to spend a little bit more money and buy one that's closer to where you want it, or is it better to buy one in rough shape for cheaper, so that way you know you, you know you can go you customize it as you want and kind of get to know your machine. I said, I paid 2700 for mine. He paid 2000 for his. But he is like totally redone his. His is unrecognizable to what it was when he first picked it up. Uh, yeah, but the bike seems to be solid. I just need to fix those small issues. So that way, I know that it's good to go. I don't want to leave those hubs loose on that axle and oval that hole out then i will never get it to be tight then i gotta place the whole axle uh so yeah if you buy one don't take the owner's word for it if you can check it out yourself this does have a newer jug on it but the seller said that it had a stock wasco piston does it have a stock wasco piston i don't know does it have a wasco piston i don't know is this an ebay 440 kit with a pot metal Chinese piston. I don't know When and if the bike messes up and we take the top end off we will find out if it is a name brand piston If it is stock bore if it's a $80 Amazon big bore kit We will find all that out. Hopefully not soon so Anytime you buy something buy it with your best judgment and double check it when you get it home to make sure that everything is good to go because if not it'll probably gonna leave you stranded on the trail which is not what you want to do so everything you do think build enjoy next video let's fix some of these issues and let's go on a ride peace